Hello dear students and welcome to this uh, first uh, mini session. In uh, this session I'm going to revise with you the most important things in the chapter uh, experimental techniques which is related with uh, uh, purification, measurements and uh, uh, methods of extraction and these uh, things are uh, uh, directed for IGCSE candidates and as well for uh, AS and A-level candidates. So here in this uh, first part, 2.1 measurements, here we have a list of tools which are used to measure the variable things in uh, chemistry. So uh, first one, it's uh, here we have uh, this one thermometer, which is used to measure the temperature and this one uh, the next one it's a measuring cylinder and measuring cylinder it's a, a tool which is used to transfer a liquid okay or also you it's used to measure a liquid the volume of liquids but you need to be careful measuring cylinder it's not a very accurate uh, tool to measure the volume and here this one is very important it's very important this one it's called uh, volumetric flask volumetric flask it's used always to prepare an, a non concentration of a solution okay and then we have here stopwatch uh, stopwatch always uh, uh, used related or uh, for these questions which are related with rate of uh, reaction because in the rate of reaction always you need to divide uh, uh, for example the concentration over time or the number of mole over time or the volume over time so the time it's uh, calculated by uh, or uh, recorded by using this stopwatch and this next two apparatus this one and this one this one is the pipette which is used to transfer accurate exact volume of a solution okay but this pipette always it's used with its pipette filler this one pipette filler okay pipette filler so here uh, pipette it's more accurate than measuring cylinder and then the next one uh, it's a uh, bio rate always it's used in a titration questions okay in a titration question to determine the concentration of non in non uh, solution and here we have a scale and this one conical flask and this one could be reagent water now here in this uh, part the second part criteria of purity now any compound if you need to make sure it's a pure or impure you need to do two things the first one the melting point okay if it's solid or boiling point if it's liquid and a chromatography so here in this one you have a drug purity so if you need to make sure this drug it's a pure or impure you need to calculate or sorry you need to measure the melting point okay if you get a very sharp a very sharp melting point that means your compound is pure and in the chromatography if you got one spot okay one spot so here we have in this chromatography paper you have three spots let's say this one one two three okay so we can confirm that spot number one and spot number two they are pure compounds as they have one spot and then you may calculate the RF and this RF it's uh, clearly uh, explained how it's uh, measured or it's uh, calculated which is equal distance traveled by compound so for example in the uh, spot 3 we have this compound which is traveled uh, 2.1 centimeter over this gap between the front solvent and the baseline so by applying this equation you may calculate the RF the last part here methods of purification 
we have here in the first one filtration so we have uh, conical flask conical flask and we have funnel and you can see there is something uh, here in the funnel here we have filter paper which is trapped the insoluble compounds or uh, soluble materials and here we have uh, drying a compound okay especially when you are doing a crystallization this one you are here having a compound soluble so you are drying a solution to get uh, the crystal of the compound and here in the last uh, part you have a distillation okay you have distillation here it's simple distillation okay simple distillation here we have this part which is condenser condenser and always the water coming from the lower side okay and the something you have distilled it's called distillate okay which is collected in this conical flask okay so uh, thank you for uh, watching this uh, many sessions and see you in the next session with new topic and with the new connection map thank you